Uh, Royal Ascot may be over, but the fun never stops. We've got the third leg of the American Triple Crown now. It's the Belmont Stakes, one mile and four furlongs, of course. Let's take a look. Double Edge, Stu Gray, greatly exaggerated, Obi Wan, Laid Back King, Colin Clark, Triple Threat, Jay Shea, Ralsk, Martin Cairns, King Festival, Darren Howes, and South Carolina, Paul Rhodes. Well, possibly a disappointing field, small field, but there's some good horses in this. And away they go. And South Carolina. And Double Edge, look what they're going to be the two to dispute the lead. With King Festival, after that one. And there were a load of horses in the first two legs of the American Triple Crown, so I presume most of them have gone to Ascot this week. And South Carolina is clearing the lead at the moment. As they come down the uh, stretch. And he's about three lengths clear of Double Edge in second. King Festival is third, and then comes Laid Back King four, Aralski is five, and Triple Threat is six, and then Greatly Exaggerated is seven. But there's no great pace on at all, it would seem, at the moment. And South Carolina's in the lead. Let's take a look at the uh, at the crowd and see what they can see as they see the horses racing away. You can see all the way around here, of course, it's a small American track, and South Carolina is in the lead from Double Edged in second. Laid Back King is third, and then comes King Festival, and Aralski and Triple Threat, and Greatly Exaggerated is the back marker but there's only two of these that are going to miss out on a big pot of money in this because south carolina leads and king festival is second aralski is third double edged is up there as well triple threats also well going well greatly exaggerated the back marker is only about four or five lengths off the lead, but South Carolina, the red-hot favourite, is in front. The jockey's already looking over his shoulder. He almost thinks it's a case of when do I pull to the bottom, and how far do I want to win by? South Carolina clearing the lead from triple threat in second. Double S is in third. Laid-back King is four. Then comes a Ralston King Festival and greatly exaggerated. Are oh, they racing for second? South Carolina in the lead. There to be shot at, though, when you're out in front. And South Carolina's trying to do it the hard way. She's in the lead. She's about three lengths clear of Triple Threat and a Rousk. And then comes Double Edged and Greatly Exaggerated is making a forward move. And then after that one, Laid Back King is just about the back marker. But they're beginning to close on the leader there. South Carolina, two and a half furlongs to go. And now he gives it a backhander. And South Carolina, will she quicken her? Rousk is trying to go with her on the wide outside. Triple Threat. And South Carolina's not quickening away as much as, much as we might have thought she would. But she's still in the lead. She's Holding on by a length, but a big threat now on the outside is triple threat, and then comes Arouse, but it's still South Carolina inside the final furlong. South Carolina looks like she's got enough to hold on, and South Carolina is going to take the Belmont. South Carolina wins it. Triple threat is second. Arouse, now Arouse has got up to take second from triple threat. Greatly exaggerated was fourth, then laid back King Double Edge done King Festival, and South Carolina, the favourite, made all won it easily, really. For Paul Rhodes, a Ralph second, triple threat third, greatly exaggerated fourth, and laid back.